tonight is the mask dance, which is also called Taichu. And the mask dance, it's not just a dance performed by the performers, but it's also a drama, and it tells a story with the mask characters. And the characters portray either a person, animal, or supernatural beings. And basically, the basic themes are exorcism rites, ritual dances, satire, parody of human weaknesses, and the evils of the privilege class. And the dance is traditionally performed during the first full moon, Buddha's birthday on the 8th of the fourth moon, Battle Festival, and Shuka. And we're going to play a short clip of the full <laughs> And one of them that we're going to be talking about is 
Sanchan Vidari, which is also known as a trance dance, and it's usually performed to entertain the gods or the goddesses and to ask them for their blessings. And, dress, and usually two young girls dress in special clothing among the smoke of burning incense. They slowly dance around and as the village women chant these young girls into a trance. And while they're in the trance, the gods and goddesses enter their bodies and the young girls dance movements that they wouldn't have been able to dance if they were their normal selves. After they're done, they collapse and the village women um, chant to ask the gods and goddesses to safely leave the young girls' bodies. So basically, as you, you know, that there are multiple, multiple forms of Asian traditional dances. We've only touched on a few of them. However, as you can probably infer, we have a collection of dances that truly give us a scope into the respective Asian culture. We can see what they believe in, what they um, follow, their religions, their customs. And this is a very important aspect to analyze and understand and appreciate in the of Asian culture. So this officially concludes our cultural presentation. Let's give one final round of applause for our last Thank you.